I'm six foot tall. Let's talk about it. Being a tall woman is like, how do I explain it? You hit up the ice cream stand and you order a scoop of your favorite flavor that you get every time you go. But somehow they end up fucking up your order and you end up getting something completely different. But then you taste it and it's actually the best thing you've ever had. You devour it. We're talking like tens of seconds. You eat the whole thing. But then a little too late, you notice that it had nuts in it. And you've always been allergic to nuts. So then you're taken to the hospital where you die very fast and in extreme pain. But you end up in heaven. It's a polarizing experience. And it has a set of very specific challenges that only people living as tall women can really collectively all relate to and through that feel a sense of camaraderie and that camaraderie is actually the reason I'm making this video today because I recently went to this music festival and at this music festival two separate women came up to me and told me that they look up to me as tall women because I carry my height so gracefully and that I seem very confident and that encourages them to really embrace their height and present themselves in an unapologetic way and that really stuck with me that they said that and ever since then i've just felt like i've wanted to talk about this to a bigger audience so here we are i just love spotting other tall women in public it's great it's like neither one says anything but we both know i feel it must be the same way two gingers feel when they spot each other in public or two short men it's like the unspoken communication of a single glance that says, ah, there's a game right there. All right, let's start with a thinking exercise. Imagine you were short and someone keeps side-eyeing you on a completely regular Thursday afternoon. The sun is still out. You're minding your business. But then all of a sudden, out of the blue, without any greeting, without any easing into it, that someone goes, how short are you? And then when you respond, they go, wow, you're really fucking short. Like, obviously that's rude on its own. But now imagine if being vertically challenged was like a big insecurity of yours and it keeps like being rubbed in your face constantly. I like being tall most of the time. Like some days I feel like a sexy gladiator and some days I feel like I, stick out like a turd in a fruit bowl. But no matter how I feel, people around me always make sure I remember how tall I am because it's often the first thing people say to me when they meet me. And I don't think commenting on someone's appearance as the first thing that you say to them when you meet them is very polite behavior. Like, I don't walk up to someone and be like, wow, your hairline is so far back. Or how much do you weigh? Or... Oh my God, you have a chin of a general. Like, pfft. there are days when I feel less confident about my height. And that's why sometimes it feels harder to control the urge to drop kick an innocent civilian asking about my height because I know that they don't mean any harm by it. Like, they're not trying to insult me. They simply don't see how socially unintelligent it is to point something out about someone's appearance before even saying hello or introducing yourself. Just last week, actually, I was in line at my workplace cafeteria just trying to get my food when this lady next to me just like turns to me and says, how tall are you? You must be like 6'5". And I wish I was a better person than this, but that day I was feeling a little petty. So I just went like, I'm pretty tall. How short are you? Now, I understand that some of you might be like, girl, calm down. Like, people don't actually care that much about your height. Simmer down. Take the stick up out of your ass. But listen, I wish it was not such a common occurrence in my day-to-day -day life. But even my coworker, who I spend a lot of time with at work and at different events, he has also noticed how much people comment on my height. And he is shocked. And he's also even, like, taken it upon himself as his, like, mission to... Um, call people out on it, like who pointed out. And I think it's actually quite endearing. Then this one time I was at a party and I was sitting at a table talking to my friend when I noticed that someone who was sitting at the same table had been kind of like staring at me, 
pretty hard for a long time. And like when I looked at him and our eyes met, he just went, you're tall. And I was like, didn't notice. Thanks. And then he went, you're too tall for a woman. He was short. I would never say to him or anyone that they're too short for a man. That would be evil. Like who says that? Like if you're jealous of my height, just just say that and call it a day. Jeez. Being tall has a lot of positives. For one, I like being able to reach things. Like I don't know anything cuter than an old man in a store asking me to help him to get a pack of diapers from the top shelf. I also really like being able to see over people in crowds and I'm easy to spot. Um, shows and festivals are great. I've always felt bad for short people at festivals, man. It's like ugh, them little angle biters struggling for air. All they smell is dirt and fart. I can also walk and run fast. I honestly kind of like that people assume that I play basketball or volleyball or athlete vibes, you know? They're cool. Also, it makes me feel safe in a way. Like, I've never really felt unsafe walking somewhere alone at night. Because I know that I'm like tall and strong, a little intimidating maybe, and I know that I can fend for myself. And also like my shorter friends have said that they feel safe around me, which I think is really cool and I take pride in it. Another tall privilege I enjoy is that I'm often offered the front seat in cars when traveling in groups because I'm often the tallest. But then to the negatives. Shopping for clothes, it's ass, what can I say? Um, I get that it's not as profitable to buy stock in our sizes and our shopping has mostly had to be planted in the online realm but it's not very practical like there are countless times when I've needed something and I've hit the shops and like three hours later I realized that the only thing I bought was a bus ticket and some Starbucks when you're my height and you go to any run-of-the-mill clothing store any sort of pants nope Dresses or skirts, ugh, really only if they're like some awkward longer length that only looks good on average high people. Jumpsuits, rompers, nah. Uh, shoes, barely. You can't even find a proper pair of pantyhose. So I mean, have fun in the accessory aisle. Maybe you'll find a cute pair of butterfly earrings. Or um, in fact, just go to the fucking hardware store, my dude. Like there's gonna be more shit for you to buy there. Um, like a ladder for whoever you end up dating because I'm going to tell you it's not going to be a tall man because tall men love short women. It's an opposites attract thing. That's how it's always been and it is fine. Um, And I am not bitter or insecure about it. I honestly hear more short men talking about how they love tall women than tall men are. So hey, maybe there's a union there that we need to uh, explore. Calling all short kings. Together we are strong. Skyscraper coochie this way. And let me tell you, I'm trying. I am trying to date short kings, but it takes a short man who's confident in his height because last time I dated a short man, he would keep this like awkward distance to me when walking next to me. And when I asked about it, he was like, I don't want to look short next to you or like keep bringing up height for no reason and like made me feel huge in his presence. And like asked me if I was gonna wear heels when we would go out. And one thing about me, girl, is I'm gonna wear some heels. I don't give a flying fuck if it makes me the same size as Dwayne The Rock Johnson. Let me tell you, there is a reason you guys practice climbing trees as kids. Come get this good good. I got you. Maybe. If you're a tall woman and you're watching this video for emotional support, let me just remind you you're so hot and you're so hard to kidnap literally supermodel hide babe legs for days unless you have a super long torso and like nubs for legs then just forget the legs part just like how god did with you uh but thank you so much for listening if you had a good time and you want to see more videos please consider blessing me with a like on this video because that would really help me a lot. The topic of this video was just something that I felt like needed to be said, you know? So us tall queens can live our unbothered, thriving, lashes long, muscles strong, purple thong, dingly dong life, you know? So if you're gonna take anything with you from watching this video that I made for you today, um, the bottom line is, in conclusion, 
all things considered, at the end of the day, when all is said and done, and when push comes to shove, what it all boils down to, ultimately, 